channel. I hope you all are doing really well. Today I'm going to be reviewing my Cartier Just On Clue small bangle. So I recently put up my Cartier jewellery collection video and a lot of you wanted me to do a review on my Just On Clue on my smaller size bracelet so I thought I would do just that today. Just on a side note, I have cut my hair but a couple of days ago I did pre-film videos. I am going away overseas for a month for work so I wasn't sure if I'd be able to film any videos while I was overseas so I thought I would do them while I was at home and I basically set them up for the next month or so but I decided to throw this one in the middle because it was so requested so I wanted to give you the review so my hair is going to go from short to long in some of my videos but right now my hair is short I have chopped it off I find it really hard to like look after my hair and maintain it when it's long so I usually do chop it off as you can tell I'm not really a hair person so I did cut it off but anyways let's get right into the review. So the bangle I'm reviewing is the Cartier Just On Clue. So this is the small version. This is the new version that came out in September of 2018 and it is thinner to the original. So my bracelet is the smaller version, the newer one, and it is in 18 karat yellow gold and it is in the size 15. So in terms of sizing my love bangles, they're in a size 16, but for the Just On Clue, I sized down to a 15 because it's set nicer against my stack. That was also um, recommended by my sales assistant, so I was I tried on both sizes and I was actually happier with the smaller one. I think it sits nicely with your stack and doesn't look too big. It also doesn't roll over your other love bangles, so my personal recommendation to you will be to go a size down, but definitely try it out just to be sure. So with my bangles, I like the them small and I like them to sit higher up on my wrist so I always go for the smaller sizes of the bangles I could have definitely gone larger because I have the smaller love bangles in the size 16 I opted for the smaller just on clue as well so the just on clue small at the moment only comes in pink gold and yellow gold I thought it came in white gold but it actually doesn't these are the only two options in the small size it's not available in diamonds currently so the just on clue is obviously inspired by nails it is essentially a nail bracelet and it was created in New York City in 1970 so it's been around for a while Obviously, as I mentioned, the smaller version has only just come out in 2018. So why did I choose the smaller version? The original version of the Just On Clue has always been on my wish list. I have wanted it for so long. I knew after the Love Bangle that one day I would have liked to add the Just On Clue to my collection. But when I buy jewelry, I mentioned this in my Cartier jewelry collection, when I buy jewelry pieces, they have to have some meaning or some milestone or momentous moment for me to buy. Jewelry for me is a really big investment, so I want to make sure that they mean something special because I do like to keep my jewelry forever they're not a piece that I've ever intended to sell or anything like that and I like to wear my jewelry every day so I like them to have some sort of special meaning so the first thing I had to do for the original version was obviously to save up that much money. I believe the original version retails for 9500 Australian dollars. So I had to save up that much money and also for a momentous moment to happen. So when the when September rolled around, I saw that the smaller version had come out. So I wanted to go into the store and see it. So I went in, tried it on, and I actually really liked it. I thought it suited my stack really nice. It wasn't too big compared to the original version next to my jewelry, and it wasn't super overpowering. I felt like every piece stood out by itself. But I have this thing where I really like to get like the original version of items, so I was really unsure. I wasn't sure whether I should save up more and get the original or get the smaller one now. So I even put a poll on my Instagram asking which looks better and the smaller one won because it did look better with my stack and I did want to wear it with my stack so in the end I decided to go for the smaller one and I actually been super happy I'm super glad that I chose the small one because it suits my stack and it's exactly what I wanted for my jewelry piece and the milestone that I reached for purchasing this bangle was actually graduating from my masters so that was a pretty big moment in my life. I was very proud of myself. So I thought, why not get something beautiful to represent? So let's talk about the review version now. That's just a little backstory on why I chose the small Just On Clue. So I love the way the bangle sits next to the rest of my stack. I feel like it's matches my set without being too overpowering or too underwhelming with against the rest of my jewelry so I think it was the perfect size in terms of that it's not too big it doesn't get in the way when I'm like typing things on the computer small enough that it just sits nicely against my wrist here I do feel like the bangle is 
really good quality. It is 18 karat gold. Because of the mechanism of how you put the bracelet on, it is actually a lot thinner and there's a lot more movement in the bangle because essentially how you put the bracelet on is you twist it around your arm. It's not like the original version. It doesn't have a little hook. You twist it around your arm. So because of that, the, the bangle is obviously a lot thinner and softer, but the bangle actually feels like it's good quality. Like it is 18 karat gold and I do feel like the quality is really good. The quality is similar to all the rest of my other Cartier jewelry pieces, so I can't say that quality isn't good on this bangle. It's literally the same as the others. I do have some cons for this bangle. I have been wearing it for about six months now, so I have noticed a few things. The biggest thing for me I've noticed is that it gets hooked onto items depending on how you wear it. So at the store, my sales associate recommended me wearing it in this formation. So I'll just show you like that. So it would sit against my jewelry like that. So if I had this at the front of my wrist, this would get hooked onto blankets, shopping bags, a whole lot of stuff. Anything that had little holes in it, it will get hooked on. So that was really frustrating for me because not only would I get stuck to things, I was also starting to worry that um, my bangle was going to lose its shape. So what I did was I decided to turn it around and wear it this way so that the thicker part is at the top of my wrist and that has actually stopped it from hooking onto things. I like the look of it the other way better but I would rather have it this way and not get it hooked onto things and for it to be frustrating while I'm out and about. So that's a con is if you're going to wear it that way just be aware that it is going to be easier to hook onto things but if you flip it over and wear it this way it's a lot easier. Since I flipped it over it hasn't hooked onto anything or got stuck in shopping bags. Another thing also when you wear it the way that was recommended to me by the sales associate it occasionally used to flip over so I will show again in a video what I mean but this the thinner part used to flip over to the other side and it would separate and again, I was worried that it would separate and it would lose its shape over time. But since flipping it over, I've had none of those problems. It doesn't get hooked on, it doesn't separate. It doesn't even get hooked onto my love bangles, which I thought it might, but it doesn't. I was also worried about it losing its shape, like I mentioned when I was wearing it the other way. I do have a Tiffany & Co bangle, which has a similar mechanism, and it has bent out of shape. But that bangle is a lot thinner than this one, so I think this losing its shape will be a little bit harder. Since switching it around, I haven't really been worried that much about that issue anymore. It was more when I was wearing it the other way where it was really easy to get caught onto items. So since switching it around, the issue of it separating, the issue of it getting hooked onto things has stopped really. So my suggestion is definitely to wear it the other way so that you don't run the risk of it losing its shape or getting hooked onto things. The only other con that I have for this bracelet is it's really hard to put on. It takes me so long when I take it off to put it back on and it's okay for me because I actually don't take this bangle off I rarely ever take it off when I purchased it I wanted to wear it every day it was going to be an everyday bangle so for me that has not been that big of an issue but when I do try to take it off and put it back on I find it really hard I usually have to get somebody else to help me or else it can take me like five minutes to put it on and it's just because you've only got one hand and you have really got to spin it around and get your arm um, in the right position so it's a little bit flimsy like that and a little bit harder to put on. But besides that, if you're going to be wearing it every day, I think you'll be fine. It is a bangle that can be worn every day. My sales associate said it's totally fine. It's what it's made for. You don't have to worry. Obviously, it is going to get scratched. If you watch my Cartier jewelry collection, you'll see that my bangles are quite scratched because I have worn them every day since I've got them. But besides that, it's jewelry pieces for me when they get scratched it tells a story i like it when jewelry pieces look old because i know i've had it for so long it's been through a journey with me so for me i don't mind the scratches at all besides that those are the only few cons the biggest pro to me is that i just love the way it looks and i love the way it sits against the rest of my jewelry i would definitely repurchase a few more of these if i could definitely think it's a better value for money compared to the original version. This is more than half the price of the original version and essentially it is the same thing. It, the original version is a lot thicker. For me, I think this is definitely a lot more better value for money. I do prefer the mechanism for the original version better, which is the clip-on version. I don't have an original version to show you, but the original version has a clip and the bangle basically is hinged in the middle when it opens and you close it around. It's a lot easier to put on. But again, this is half the price, so obviously the mechanism had to be a little bit different. I think maybe in the future they could potentially improve the way you put this on so it's a little bit easier. But overall, I think in terms of value for money, it's much better than the original. 
Um, Jostin Clue is another classic piece from Cartier, so I really feel like the value is going to stay for these bangles. It's a classic piece. It's been around for years, and it's another classic like the Love Bangle. So I think it's got great staying power. It's a beautiful bangle. Overall, I'm so happy with my purchase. I don't regret it at all. I don't regret not getting the original version. I do love this, and I'm going to keep it forever. Let me know if you have any other questions I can answer for you in the comments about this bangle. I only had the bangle for six months so I've just tried to give you everything that I have noticed about the bangle since I've got it. Over time I can probably do an updated review on the bangle so let me know if you have any other questions and I can definitely answer them for you. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Cartier Jostan Crew and I will see you next time. Bye!